that uh, that that weed that that plant was abused by the colonists, our white ancestors, in uh, the East Coast back in the colonial days, in a town called Jamestown, not James Sibley, but Jamestown is why I got the name Jimson Weed. No, no rim shot. Even if I had some drumsticks, I couldn't do a rim shot on that. But a guy was like, "Can you reach the flux?" <laughs> blowing a feather in the air for uh, hours. This is the kind of effect that it has on white people. <laughs> but I tried uh, Gibson Lee, <coughs> the Tura, when I was a teenager, and yeah, I got sick. So that was amazing. So, on uh, uh, a related note. Um, honoring uh, a good brother of mine lived right on the other side of that um, Joshua Tree National Park, what we used to call Desperate Hot Springs, now it's Desert Pot Springs. And he was a call, he was forever alive in our hearts, just left his body uh, a few days ago. Uh, he was a columnist for the uh, for High Times Magazine, co-creator of the Yippie Movement with Abby Hoffman, Jerry Rubin, uh, Lenny Bruce, he wrote a autobiography for about him. And, Talking about Paul Krasner, amazing, amazing guy. You can go to my Facebook page and, and see a bunch of great tributes about him. He uh, wrote a book on uh, psychedelics uh, for the soul, uh, chicken soup with psychedelics, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so uh, another related note, speaking of Bob Marley said, I don't ever need to do LSD, man. Just give me some good, nice purple lamb's bread. I'm not sure what key this is in, but you'll get it. You'll get it. Oh, I'm yeah. not saying. Redemption songs, these songs of freedom. 